Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 23rd of October 2018. And we have a number of very interesting news and we start with the Royal Loch Nagar Distillery in Scotland. The Royal Loch Nagar Distillery uh, gave a present to Prince Charles and it was a cask of 30 year old whiskey. And what he does with it is he is uh, Letting, having, having it bottled on the 14th of November, which is his birthday, and then he will um, have auctions about the bottles and people will pay probably a lot of money, but this money is going to uh, yeah, a beneficial uh, sale, so all the stuff that you buy there will help some people who are in need. Yeah. And next up, we have news from the regional malls with a twist. And here the name is actually Program. It is a, a tube, which is a, a two part tube. We have a top and a bottom, and we have the heads of the symbolic figures of Big Pete, Scallywag, Timorous Beast, and Epicurean. And then you can twist the, the, the tube with a twist. And they can match the head of, let's say, uh, Big Pete with the bottom of Scallywag or vice versa or, or with all the others. It reminds me a bit of uh, uh, yeah, uh, children's toy. Yeah, but um, it's going to be a nice blend. It's going to be 48% ABV, 10 years, limited edition, and it's going to be limited to 5000 bottles. So maybe if you want to have one, you should not wait too long. Next up, we have Loch Lomond is planning new products for 2019. It will be a 1991 Glen Scotia and the 1992 Little Mill. And Little Mill is already closed, so this will be a bit more rare and also a bit more expensive, therefore. So after the Johnny Walker White Walker edition, which showed huge success, now um, we have a new bottling from Johnny Walker and this time it's the Masters Edition. It will be a very, very high expensive whiskey and it's going to be a 50 year old blend made from six very rare distilleries. It's going to be made from Blair Athol, Glen Elbin, Glen Uri Royal. It's only going to be uh, 100 bottles and it's going to be 43.3% ABV. So if you want to have one, you really have to dig deep into your pockets. And as nearly every week now, we have a new distillery. This time it's around Glasgow. It's the Art Go One distillery, and they will be uh, building it until 2020, and they invested 12 million pounds. Um, they will have two copper pot stills, and they will have six wash bags. Um, but they have a two-phase plan, so they're gonna expand to four pot stills and more wash bags. They already uh, handed in their papers and they already got them approved, so hopefully they will stay uh, on target to 2020. So that's it for Scotland and now we move on to the Irish distillers. Because the Irish distillers are investing heavily into their business, they are investing 150 million euros in the modernization and the expansion of their yeah, distillery equipment and bottling equipment. Um, they will invest into the Middleton distillery in Cork and also their uh, companies in Dublin, which are for bottling. This is because they saw a rise in product demand and they will uh, do this modernization in the next two years. So the last news that we have today is the Kilbaggin small batch rye is coming. It's a small batch whiskey, 30% rye, so quite high. It will be quite spicy, 43% ABV, and it will be the first whiskey that will be 100% distilled on site and also matured on site. Yeah, it will be available in the USA around mid-November, so keep your eyes open. And the last thing that I have is a thing in for, for the whiskey.com news. I really want to know 
what are you most interested in? Are you interested in different locations? Are you interested in Scotch, bourbon, Irish, international? Are you interested in uh, new distilleries or new bottlings? What do you expect from the whiskey.com news? What news do you find interesting? What news do you find boring? Just go down, write it in the comments and I will read them. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.